Hello my friends and welcome back. This is Total OS Today, Total Technology for Beginners and Beyond. I am your host, Carmine, or as the UPS driver once said, Package for Carmini. Uh, that is a true story, by the way, 100% true. Anyway, this is by request. This is Community Created Storm OS from my friend Ben, and I guess several others collaborated, collaborators. Thank you, Ben. Uh, before we get started, one note I need to tell you, uh, I, had a, I had someone locally pass away from this COVID virus thing. Uh, I won't go into into any, well, I won't go to any details here. Those of you who are on my supporter list through Patreon and PayPal, you, you guys know what's going on. So thank you uh, for being there. And, uh, but, you know, I, this was by request. Uh, I gave my word to take a look at this before what happened. So I'm keeping my word. I know, I know I'm rambling along and I apologize, but I just want to let you know that if I miss anything with this, I apologize. I know a lot of hard work goes into creating something like this. So I'll do my best to take a look at this from, well, this is fresh for me, from the eyes of a Windows user like myself. Okay. First of all, Ben, thank you for having Simple Screen Recorder pre-installed. Uh, great. That's what I'm using to record this. I'm running this, running this off a live USB, by the way. Uh, and it runs pretty good. Okay, so I think what we'll do here, it looks like the recorder is working. The file is being saved in the videos folder. Let's go ahead and minimize that, minimize this, so I know that's working. This is a default desktop. Just a plain blue background. And if you've messed with XFCE before, Linux before, I won't go through all of this. You can right-click desktop settings, change the back, background color. I will not go into that. I want to take a look at this uh, as quickly a as I can without missing too much. We do have the panel at the top, which is great. I prefer the panel at the top. So time and date, it's like, what is this? this is, uh, looks like we have Kwin and the XFWM4 window manager, I guess, as a choice. Okay, there's my simple screen recorder. Flameshot, all right, that's a Flameshot tool. Very good, great name, by the way, Flameshot. Although it sounds like a drink. Which is what I need right now. Okay, 96 available updates. Okay. So let's see here. All right. Installed and browse. Uh, looks like there's a, a browse here. So if I wanted to browse, let's see. Audacious. Not found. That's interesting. Maybe, maybe, maybe we have to do an update. But Audacious is a very lightweight music player. It says package not found. Maybe if we did a full install and do the updates, it'll show. But that's just an, that's just an example of the update manager. All right, so we have the power manager here. Uh, let's see, audio mixer. Yeah, this is pretty simple stuff. Playback, recording, output, the inputs. And I do like the dark theme by default, by the way, which can be changed. I love the uh, XFCE weather applet. It's the uh, this applet is the second best <laughs> the second best next to the mate weather applet uh, but this is great i just put in pittsburgh and, and you know there were no there was there was uh, no codes to look up or anything very simple to use so cool all right some shortcuts open windows here at the top videos the simple screen recorder uh, chromium is installed by default and this is where you can get more information sourceforge.net for storm os StormOS is a beginner-friendly distribution based on Arch Linux, developed by Ben Fitzpatrick and some others. You see here, the goal is to bring new users over to the world of Arch Linux by offering an easy install, out-of-the-box Linux experience. Excellent. Okay, let's move along here. Some shortcuts here to the left. Thunderbird, one of my favorite email clients. I use this for both Linux and Windows. I will not set this up now. Of course, Chromium and settings here okay pretty pretty basic stuff here um, personal hardware accessibility all right by category so I think we'll just get out of that again if you are a Windows user looking at this it's not that difficult all right just some shortcuts here on the desktop the home folder welcome to storm OS text and uh, install Storm OS. This, I believe, is the Color Maris installer. I think I've messed with this a couple times before. It's, it's a pretty basic installer. It shouldn't be that difficult to use. We have the dock at the bottom. I believe this is uh, Plank. 
Uh, this is something I don't use that, that many docks. My personal favorite dock is the Cairo dock when I use the dock, but this is okay too. All right, why don't and look looks like there's a trash folder here. I'm just going to move that there. All right, let's take a look briefly and see what is all installed. Search tab at the top, search bar, and then we can expand this. We grab this here and do that. So, okay, let's go ahead and get started here. So we have favorites, recently used. Yep, all applications. Let's go with the categories, accessories. And oh, HP Device Manager for hooking up printers. Very good. Excellent. The plank. Uh, let's, let's take a look at the task manager. So, yeah, I'm running everything. Looks like it's using up 13% memory, but overall, not too bad. Again, if you fully install this uh, and not run it off a live USB, it'll use less, it'll run a little faster. If you don't know how to do, how to create a live USB, I will post a link for you to take a look at that. It's not that hard. Okay, we looked at uh, accessories. Okay, nice selection of default apps here. Development, just a couple here. Education. All right, so LibreOffice Math, the LibreOffice Suite installed by default. Very good games. Aha, Lutris and Steam. Very good. Graphics, uh, all right, the GIMP installed by default. Very good. Internet. Okay, so Chromium is installed. I prefer Chrome myself. It just seems to run faster, better for both Linux and Windows. I'm not sure why, but Chromium is okay too, but I prefer Chrome. All right, Discord, very good. I am on Discord occasionally. If you would like an invite, let me know. Telegram, very good. Thunderbird, Zoom. I use Zoom occasionally, very good. So far, been a very, very nice selection of uh, default applications. Multimedia. Audacity I use, very good. Handbrake, excellent. Transcode media formats. Caden Live. Um, I do use Caden Live, even though the latest couple of versions have been horrible, in my opinion, not as user friendly. Uh, but it's still probably the premier video editor for Linux. Uh, 1812, I believe, was the last great one. After that, they're just not quite as user friendly, in my opinion. I still use it, but I prefer the, other, the older versions of Caden Live. But the fact that it is pre-installed, very good. Pulse Audio, very good. Of course, simple screen recorder, so I can record all this. VLC isn't pre-installed by default. I use this for both Linux and Windows. Excellent choice of software. Office, of course, the LibreOffice Suite. Other, Team Viewer. Settings, there should be a whole bunch here. Yep, let's... um. Uh, you know what? Let's let's go to uh, appearance. You can do here, or you can just search uh, app, not a o o, app. There, appearance. I was messing with this a little bit. We have orange light. Um, uh, let's see here, breeze dark. Why don't we go to? Um, Let's see, arc. Okay, just to give you an idea, you know, you, you don't have to go dark if you don't want to. This is a bit too light. <laughs> but again, this can be changed. So, yeah, we were at settings. We're looking at settings and um, system here. And what else do we have here? Print settings. Yeah, this is what I would use uh, probably to get your printer uh, hooked up. You don't have to go to the website. Um, let's see, um, again, right click, we, we took a look at this, you can right click and search through applications here too, by the way. So overall, from what I've seen briefly, this looks, feels fine, yeah, it's, it's, uh, you know, it's easy to use, easy to navigate, um, I don't see any problems so far running this off a of live, uh, USB uh, stick. It run, it's pretty responsive. Of course, with something like this, and really with anything, not just this, you can't really ever tell fully unless unless you do a full install. I recommend ThinkPads if you want to play with Linux. I have a couple of those. I'll, I'll have an Amazon link, affiliate link below in the show notes if you're looking for a machine to play with. ThinkPads, refurbished ThinkPads are very affordable, and they seem to love Linux for whatever reason. 
Um, well, Ben, this looks fine. Yeah, I, I don't have any issues from what I've seen briefly uh, so far. Um, this functions the way it should. It's fast, uh, easy to navigate. I love the, the, the pick of default software that is installed in this. I think it's great. Of course, me coming from a content creator, I'm going to use OBS Studio, Kden Live, Audacity, VLC. So, of course, I will say it's perfect. No, but really, this is a very nice choice of um, of default software pre-installed. It looks like we have VirtualBox installed also. Very good. Okay, well, I don't know what else to say, uh, except thank you for watching. I uh, hope this uh, helps you out if you are new to the world of Linux. Um, yeah, I, uh, I don't know when I'll be live on again. I'll be okay. Just got to get through this. And uh, you guys know how to reach me. So thank you again, all you guys, Ben, everybody else, for the hard work you put into creating something like this. And uh, I give this, from, from what I see so far, I give this an A+. Check it out. Okay, I think I will end the recording here. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace, love, and all that. Arrivederci.